Hey guys, Break here, and welcome to my inscription profession guide for the end of Battle for Azeroth. I am going to be doing videos on every single profession and talking about how you can make gold with them, even towards the end of an expansion when professions are often harder to make gold with. So every profession video I usually do, people say that maybe the stuff doesn't sell. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be selling things for 24 hours before I create each video. And then we're going to see what we've sold in the video so we can see if the stuff actually does sell. So let us have a look at what I sold with Inscription. This isn't just Inscription. There are a couple of other things in here, some random materials that I found on my alts that I had to get rid of. But uh, lots of this, pretty much most of it, is Inscription. As you can see, we sold War Scrolls. We've sold uh, the Inscription Trinkets. We actually sold a lot of those. Uh, we sold some crane wing inscription, sort of uh, shoulder enchants, I think they are, uh, some contracts. And that is just in exactly 24 hours. Uh, and I'm on a high pop server, so yeah, I get that it's going to be quicker selling than maybe some of the lower pop servers. But at the same time, uh, the high pop means it's harder to make profit. But everything I crafted was in a nice bit of profit. So I think in the end, it's worked out fairly well. So before we get into the guide, I'm just going to cover what we sold in a bit more detail. So we've sold 11 trinkets in 24 hours, 11, uh, at around 2,000 gold profit on average, I believe. It was something like that. So that's over 20,000 gold profit just from making some trinkets, which was uh, pretty good. These are the highborn ice level 400 trinkets, by the way. We also sold five glyphs. So for people who think the glyphs didn't sell, uh, they do. And again, probably about 1,000 gold profit on average, between 500 and 1,000 gold profit. So maybe 4,000 or 5,000 gold profit just from these. And then, yeah, a few other things. And I think from the inscription things that I made, my profit was probably 35 to 40,000 gold in 24 hours. So pretty steady gold maker. Uh, this isn't the only time, obviously, that I've sold inscription stuff. I've been selling it over the past couple of weeks, and it does sell pretty well. The uncanny offhands do sell pretty well. Uh, the kind of transmog bits sell well. The inscription shoulder uh, crane wing things sell well. It all sells pretty good, and the trinkets just sell amazingly. So very steady gold maker. I reckon I could be making 40,000 gold a day just from posting some easy inscription things. What's that? 200, 280k a week. So that's pretty much a wow token a week, <laughs> just from doing basic inscription. I mean, okay, I get it on some servers, might not quite be that good, but still, my server's usually not very profitable with these things, and that's what I'm making. So inscription is definitely a good gold maker, and let's get into it. I was actually going to do this video yesterday, but I've been busy posting some sweet deliveries with the online sweet shop that I recently set up. So if anyone lives in the UK and fancies some sweets, well, I'm now pretty much the next Willy Wonka. So you guys might be interested in that. I'll leave a link in the description to the shop anyway, just in case. But back to more important things. Inscription is pretty easy in Battle for Azeroth. Uh, obviously it revolves as always around mass milling the herbs, to make the pigments and then transforming the pigments into the inks. And then with the inks, you can make all the things that you want to make. And yeah, it's very simple to mass to get the maroon ink. You just have to mass mill the xenanthids. And to make all of the other inks, you just have to mass mill the other herbs of BFA, whichever one is cheapest. It's very, very simple. Very occasionally, it's actually going to be cheaper for you to buy off the auction house the uh, inks rather than mass milling, but that is pretty rare. Usually you're going to want to mass mill the herbs uh, and it really doesn't take too long. The only thing that takes long is transforming the herbs into the inks, but I mean you can just go AFK and do something else whilst that's happening, so it is not too tricky at all. The first thing I want to talk about is there is a bit of a market for maroon ink. For all the inks in fact, there always is a bit of a market for the inks, but particularly the maroon ink, I don't think people can just be bothered to make it. So if you have some time to AFK, you could just buy up quite a lot of xenanthid, mass mill it into the maroon pigments, and then uh, create maroon inks from the pigments, and then put some up on the auction house. 
and yeah it's actually quite profitable and I did sell a few over the past few days and yeah people are just lazy and just want to make the ink straight away uh, rather than mass milling and everything so that can be a market but don't bank on it uh, the good thing about doing this is if they don't sell well you can just use the maroon ink anyway to make your other inscription things so you can't really lose with this now as you can see from the new world items the books and scrolls uh, on my server it's not very profitable uh, same with the contracts though I only do have rank 1 on this character but uh, even if you have rank 2 or rank 3 they just aren't that profitable so yeah I haven't had much luck with those again these types of things usually on my high populated server they don't sell for much profit or if any profit uh, just like kind of potions with alchemy uh, it's really hard to make profit with things like this however if you're on a medium or low pop server and if you can get rank 3s you could be making some profit with the contracts and same with the tomes and the codex I've actually sold quite a few codex uh, they're not profitable now but they were before and even with the tomes I've only got rank 2 but I still make a profit with the tomes uh, they're not as fast selling as I would like but some people do buy them but the absolute best market right now for inscription is the trinkets as we know people are leveling alts and one thing that alts may struggle to get when they first hit max level is a good trinket but you can just buy trinkets and these sell really really well like 3,000 to 4,000 gold profit on my server uh, and this is not taking into account my cost of the it's probably more than this it's probably about yeah 3,000 at least and these are probably at 4,000 profits so it's really really good uh, I've sold all of them uh, particularly sold the uh, Sunderings really really well but to be honest all of them have sold and this is the main thing I would try and get into. It's also one of the only things that requires expulsum with inscription. But again, it's only two expulsum, so it's really easy to just get on your alt tailor, uh, make a load of linen braces, send them over to your scribe, put them in the forge or the scrapper or whatever they call it nowadays, and uh, make some expulsum. I did that, it didn't take me very long, and I made sort of 100 expulsum really cheaply. And then, yeah, it's pretty much just printing gold, 20,000 gold a day easily just from these trinkets alone on my server. So great market to get into. And of course, don't forget about the offhands. Probably sell one of these per day at around three to 4,000 gold profits. So again, if you can get the uncanny offhands, uh, you can definitely make some gold with that. Now, of course, one of the main things with inscription is the glyphs. And these do sell, not super fast, but they do sell. You want to have all the profitable ones on the auction house because uh, often people will buy them, particularly the ones that kind of transform your character's appearance. It's something for the shamans and druids particularly will sell really, really good. Uh, Glyph of the Sentinel sells sort of twice as quick as almost all the others because it changes your flight form, and that's something that lots of druids may like. Now there are some BFA glyphs which are made using the uh, inks and pigments we've already talked about but they're not that good and there's only sort of six or seven of them they're really not profitable on my server what is slightly more profitable on my server are the legion glyphs and some of these can sell for a fair amount so make sure you go back and learn the legion glyphs and yeah there's quite a few that you get from random places but you can always look on your profession tab go to unlearned and then you can see where to get the glyphs that you haven't learned yet uh, but some of these are really good now again they're made with sallow pigment and roseate pigments which you need the legion herbs to get so sallow pigment you get from milling the felwort and any other herb as well but the felwort uh, gives you the most and roseate pigment again you get from milling any herbs from legion now usually on my server it's actually cheaper to buy the sallow pigments from the auction house rather than milling it but it depends on the prices you'll have to uh, look that up yourself and again if i was on a less populated server probably all of these would be profitable uh, as it is only some of them are they're about 500 gold each the profitable ones but like i say i can sell a few every single day so that's not too bad at all just a little tip for people who are new to inscription and want to quickly learn some of the older recipes you can get the scribes research notes from the auction house or you can make them yourself 
and that will teach you the drain all recipes and some of the other recipes from the older expansions so that is a good way to learn some new glyphs if you don't have them all now we're going to talk about one of the hidden markets with inscription that not that many people know about until this video at least <laughs> which is the uh, crane wing or these types of inscriptions which are the shoulder enchants hope they're shoulder yeah they're shoulders I thought they were uh, now these are cool because you can put them on some of the heirlooms and they can be quite good for leveling up why do people want to put shoulder enchants on their looms for leveling who knows but some people actually do it and again they can sell for a solid sort of 500 gold uh, each four to five hundred gold uh, this sells for 600 and they sell quickly I'm selling a few every day so it's another few thousand gold a day uh, just from selling these so it is a great market to get into and that was one of the great things about inscription there are lots of sort of old world little things that you can craft such as the old world glyphs such as the shoulder enchants and even some of the uh, transmog pieces can sell the ghost iron staff can sell and some of the fans can sell and one thing which I used to have great success with was the key to the planes transmog. Uh, it's kind of cool. I don't know if we can look at it. It basically just looks like a giant key. And yeah, it's a pretty good transmog that some people do buy occasionally. Here it is, giant key. And the final thing is the hunter renaming thing. Uh, certificate of ownership actually does sell as well for a fairly decent amount. So again quite profitable and something interesting that some people don't really think about but anyway guys that is it inscription is a bit of a weird profession because sometimes it's really profitable and sometimes it's not and people think if the tomes aren't profitable then inscription isn't profitable but that's really not the case inscription is one of the best professions for old world stuff for glyphs for the shoulder enchants for, for transmog pieces for loads of different things and with the combination of the BFA stuff and Old World stuff, Inscription is a really good profession, particularly for later in expansions when people are leveling up characters, and particularly right now with the 100% rep and XP boost. So I would definitely recommend Inscription. And yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the other profession videos. And until next time, see ya.